Introduction to Xamarin Test Recorder for Mac Operating System This is one of the new and most important and awesome feature which is available in Xamarin.ui test. So I'm going to discuss about that in this particular video. Alright, so let's get started. A picture is worth a thousand words. That's why I have not even written a single line of word in this particular slide. You can see that within this picture, you can see we have a Xamarin Test Recorder and we have our iPhone SE emulator or simulator running on the right hand side with the application being open which is the same application that we developed in our Xamarin in Windows operating system and the same application is actually running in Mac operating system for iOS device which is really really cool and you can see that I perform few operations like selecting the add items over here and then I have also performed uh, entry of data for the titles and the description and then I click some submit button and also uh, I saw that the value has been added here with EA and EA is awesome. So that's the operation I made within the application's uh, UI using the Xamarin Test Recorder and you can use the same code that is generated here on the right hand side of the recorder and you can copy paste this code and you can work with the application just in a couple of minutes and you will be get started. That's it. That's the very, very cool thing which is available within the Xamarin Test Recorder. And the Xamarin Test Recorder can be downloaded from the URL over there. You can see xamarin.com slash testcloud slash recorder. Just head over there and you can download it and you can start working with it. But it is in an early access preview right now. So basically it is not fully available as a release version. But it's an early access, but still you can see that the Xamarin Test Recorder is working like charm without any problem. You can just try it out. I have tried out in my own Mac operating system machine and it's working fine like charm. So we are going to discuss about the same in our video. So let's get started and see how things work. So for that, I'm going to turn our attention back to our Mac operating system. Alright, so we have prepared our application in our last video by adding the Calabas server. So I'm going to stop the execution of the Calabas server for now. And we know that this particular application is actually sitting somewhere within our Mac operating system that you can reveal uh, within your uh, finder right by this. There we go. And then you can just head over your attention to the bin folder, iPhone simulator, debug. And within this debug, you have something called as device builds folder. And within this device builds folder, you have this iPhone 8.4, things of that nature. So basically, these are the different kinds of versions that you have uh, within this particular uh, application, right? So why not do this? So I'm gonna go to the, uh, to the EA Xamarin app and I'm gonna select the iOS. I'm gonna go to the bin, iPhone simulator, debug, device builds, and then I'm gonna choose the 8.4 uh, to 11 or whatever version you want. And then I'm gonna choose this particular guy to start recording. So I have already downloaded Xamarin Test Recorder in my machine and I have also installed that. It is pretty simple and straightforward. That's the reason I have not even shown that. So if you want to see how it is actually being done, I can easily show you. Uh, just go to Chrome and search for Xamarin Test Recorder. There we go. And uh, you'll end up here. So I have just downloaded that particular uh, Xamarin Test Recorder if we come all the way down here and just download to OS X, that's it. You're good to go. Just uh, install it, which is pretty much like drag and drop in Mac operating system. And we are good to go with the installation of Xamarin Test Recorder. So if I just search for Xamarin Test Recorder uh, over here, uh, something like this. And you can see that it is going to open the Xamarin Test Recorder for us. The Xamarin Test Recorder in Visual Studio for uh, Windows was like, it was like a plugin. You just added it in Visual Studio and there was a Thunderbolt symbol just added and you selected the application and it was working fine, which was available within Visual Studio for Windows. But here it is like a separate package. It is not available within Visual Studio for Mac as of now. Maybe it will be included soon. So I'm going to select a device this time. So we have already opened our simulator with the iPhone SE. So I'm going to select the same device and I'm going to select the app. So basically the application that we have, uh, which is running is going to be sitting somewhere. 
in our Mac operating system. So let's go to the user, Karthik, and uh, select this EA Xamarin app. And it's going to be for iOS. So I'm going to go there, iPhone simulator, debug, device builds. So I'm going to choose any one of them, whichever is uh, going to work. So I'm going to select that. And you can see that it is resigning the app and it's starting the app for us right now. So basically, this is going to launch our application on the simulator. So basically, it is going to reboot the simulator for us right now. And you can see that the simulator is just booting up. And it's going to install the application into the simulator pretty much like what it did while we compiled the application Visual Studio for Mac 2017. So that's exactly what's going to happen even right now. But it's going to be done from the test recorder rather uh, Visual Studio itself. All right. It seems like the application is uh, just going to open. It has installed the device agent for now. Oops. Seems like there is an error. It says that the operation could not be completed. The application failed to uh, pre-flight check. Uh, let's do this again. All right. Seems like the application has opened without any problem this time. At least uh, maybe it's because of so many uh, boot or delay or something like that. It has just failed. It's okay because it's in preview mode right now. We can still with go with that. So I'm gonna hit this record button this time. So if I hit the record button, basically what do you expect? Just very easily you can record the UI operation that you can see over here. So if I hit the add item, do you see this guy coming in? Tap of add item and the relative code is also being generated on the right hand side of Xamarin test recorder. Pretty cool and nice. I'm really impressed with this. And it is really, really smooth, like buttery, and you can perform exactly the same operation that you can do like Android for uh, Windows operating system. And the, another good news is you can even run the Android operating systems emulator in Mac itself. So you don't really have to hunt uh, in a different ecosystems for Apple emulators or things, things of that nature. Basically, it works. So it works the Apple emulator and iPhone simulator within the Mac operating system. So I basically would say that instead of writing code in Windows operating system, you can still work with Mac for both Android and iOS in the same place because Windows Phone does not even exist. It is dead already and Microsoft has already declared that Windows Phone is dead. So there is no point in working for the Mac operating system and Android operating system in two different places. We can write the code, Xamarin code within the Mac operating system and perform these kind of operation instead of working in two different ecosystems, right? All right, so let's quickly see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna type EA and you can see that it entered the text EA and then we're gonna say EA is awesome and then it has come in here as well and then I'm gonna hit the save item button. And you can see that the EA is awesome has come in here. So if I again tap this EA is awesome, it's going to show this application uh, which we have entered so far. And then I'm going to hit the browse button there. It's going to take us back to the home page. That's good. So all the record and playback option is currently working fine without any problem. That's really, really a good news. So if I stop the execution this time and if I just try to export this, and if I send it to the test cloud, it is going to run the test cloud itself. Remember in our previous videos of this course, we saw how we can run the test on the Xamarin test cloud. You can do that just instantly if you select this and it's going to deploy your test back to the cloud and it's going to run that. But rather doing this, I'm going to copy this output and then I'm going to write within our Xamarin test framework that we have written so far over here. Right? So I'm going to go all the way to the mobile framework and then I'm going to run this particular test in the Xamarin uh, code that we written in our specflow feature files. So basically we're going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to write the same code or we're going to execute the same code within our Mac operating system of uh, which we have written for the Android. The only thing we need to do is to change the platform from Android in the app config, which is the custom configuration that we wrote from Android to iOS and the code is going to work. But the only bad news or maybe the downside of this particular change in code is the object identification a little bit because this particular simulator has got a different 
level of the UI change uh, which was not there in the Android application but still the code is gonna be a few change here and there and you're gonna make use of the exact same code running in Android and iOS operating system in both Windows and Mac operating systems so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned for our next video to perform the complete code change for Mac operating system in our mobile framework thank you